My name is Elaine and as Keeper of Collections, I manage the care and conservation of the museum's objects, which are held in trust for present and future generations. Many of these are of special significance to our community heritage. For example, the earliest known view of Lisburn is an 1801 faded watercolour in very fragile condition. Objects are collected by donation or purchase and are researched for display in exhibitions and for publications. A particularly enjoyable part of my job is collecting objects that help us to learn more about our heritage. This often involves meeting people who are seeking information or who have stories to tell about their objects that are important to record. A fond memory was meeting the celebrated fashion designer Sybil Connolly in her home in Merrion Square, Dublin, to arrange the purchase of the pleated linen wedding gown for the textile gallery in the Irish Linen Centre. The pedal harp is a favourite object of mine. It was made in Dublin by the harp maker John Egan in the early 1800s and was later owned by a concert harpist Maud Hunter of Lisburn, who was also the organist in Seymour Street Methodist Church. She is known to have played it at church socials and to have transported it through the town in her pony and trap. When gifted to the museum, the harp was riddled with woodworm and falling apart, and most of its pegs and strings were missing. But with grant aid, it was carefully restored, and it now has a beautiful sound when played. Its delicate gilded ornamentation with angels and shamrocks and its classical shape make it a very elegant instrument that people enjoy seeing, especially in our Georgian assembly room. Why not call in and see it?